welcome you to a one university reception and tell you a little bit about it and about the space you're in. Uh, and this is my wife, Dr. Ruth Chen, who is a professor in the engineering school. And I'm Kat Sibrid. And Ruth and I have lived here for two and a half years. And uh, when we first came, uh, a lot of people uh, worked to clean up the house and to remediate. Uh, there were, my wife, fortunately, a toxicologist. There were uh, lead and asbestos and radon problems in the house. And so all the workers who worked on it, the first event we had in the house was a, a reception for their significant others and family members so they could show them what they did. And when they all were here at the same time, they realized they didn't know each other and they didn't have been inside and not talk to each other. So out of that, uh, my wife wanted, kept talking to staff members across the university of whom 5,000 and realized 4,900 of them have never seen this university building. So, so the next year, we had a series of one university receptions where we invited everybody who worked at the university here, groups of 125. And, we only, and there was some interest in just seeing this house for reasons I'll explain. But it was also an opportunity for them to actually talk to each other. So last year, having worked through 5,000 staff members, we started at the goal of having every student be here before they graduate. We discovered there are so many student organizations where they come and go that often they, 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 they create excellence in their own unique way in their field, and lots of people are unaware that they exist. It took a while to come to fruition, but one was the students who are at the Zambonis at uh, Trinity Ice Cream, and another was the Zamboni Revolution Standard Comedy Group. They didn't know each other, didn't work to each other, and we arranged for them to do a promotional uh, video and photographs together. Uh, so about the house, uh, about a quarter of you have been here before for I think, some other capacity for various events. There is an event in this house pretty much on this floor every day. Uh, it's, it's, so it is a university facility. It was, uh, it happens to, we live in it in part of the upstairs. Uh, and when we need to call to each other in the kitchen, it's real adventures. It was built in 1899 for uh, Mr. Nottingham, who was an uh, early venture capitalist. Uh, Syracuse in the 1800s started more companies than anywhere. And Mr. Nottingham invested in them and became very wealthy. Built this house for his wife and one daughter and 11 women servants. Uh, so, and it was built to have a public side of the house and a servant side of the house, and they're very distinctly different in how they look. It has never been renovated, it, with one exception. They took the front door and flipped it to make the back door the front door. And they did that in the 1960s during the protests because they wanted it to be a more secure entrance. It's also when you put this wall around. When we moved in, there were trees and shrubs. Most of us didn't know it was here, so everybody should know it's here now. Uh, but just to give a sense of how separate the spaces were, um, this is, was the family dining room, the formal dining room. There's also a, 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 a garage that uh, has a three-bedroom apartment above it, which students now live in, but it's roof range, but uh, it used to be where the chauffeur lived. It has other spooky features. There are many panels, secret hidden panels that carpenters live here forever. In, in 1915, uh, uh, the, uh, well, the Nottinghams uh, traded the house to the university in return for land elsewhere in a deal arranged by the chair of the board of trustees who wanted the chance to live here. Since then, all nine chancellors have lived here. Indeed, it's been a kind of condition of your contract with the living this house. So after 6 o'clock at night, it's Ruth, me, and DPS above the age of 30 with 10 blocks. And, so, and uh, it, it's worked well. Uh, um, the other things to say is we can show you interesting things on this part of the house, including the kitchen and the dog, who's almost the oldest dog in Syracuse we may bring out. But, We'll do that on the condition that you remember your assignments for this reception, which is eating food, uh, finding one other organization of interest, and telling one or both of us one thing you would work on that would make the place better. 